I call the case of the people of the state of Michigan versus Manny Joe Jarvis, 2123794. Ms. Jarvis is here from the jail, appearing by video. Ms. Hines is the attorney. Mr. Gabriel is the prosecutor. And we're here today for a plea. So, Ms. Jarvis, please raise your right hand. Do you silently swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Uh, Mr. Gabriel, the offer? Your Honor, if Ms. Jarvis enters a plea of guilty to count one, we will dismiss the supplemental um, notice. Okay, thank you. All right. So, Ms. Uh, Jarvis, the offer is that you plead to a charge of larceny of over a thousand but less than twenty thousand dollars. That's a felony punishable by up to five years in prison and or a fine of up to ten thousand dollars or three times the value of the property stolen, whichever is greater. They will dismiss the habitual offense notice. Um, and that's the extent of the agreement. Is that your understanding of the agreement? Yes. So I don't need and are you currently on probation or parole? No. Okay. Um, how then do you plead to the charge of larceny over a thousand but less than twenty thousand dollars? I guess you already have I plead guilty. Has anyone promised you anything other than what we've talked about in court today? No. Anybody threaten you? No. Doing this of your own free will? Yes. And do you, are you wanting to say something, Science? Um, I'm just moving my elbow. What? I'm just moving my elbow. Okay, all right. Sorry. Thought you were just subtly, subtly trying to get my attention. So, no, all right, now. No, I would have been yelling. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Jarvis, do you understand that if your plea is accepted, you're not going to have a trial of any kind? You're going to be giving up all the rights that you would have had at trial. Those include the right yes. to be tried by a jury, to be presumed innocent until proven guilty, to have the prosecutor prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you are guilty, to have the witnesses yes. against you appear at trial and to question the witnesses that appear against you, to have the court order any witnesses you have for the defense to appear at trial. You'd have the right to remain silent during the trial and to not have that silence used against you or to testify at trial if you want to testify. Understand you're giving up all those rights? Yes. You also understand that if your plea is accepted, you may be giving up the right to appeal certain issues that would otherwise be appealable if you were convicted at trial. Further, any appeal for your conviction and sentence pursuant to the plea would be by leave and not by right. Do you understand that? Yes. All right. So it alleges that on April 9th of 2021, you were in White Pigeon Township, the county of St. Joseph in the state of Michigan. Is that true? Yes. It's alleged that you did commit the offense of larceny by stealing a trailer that had four snowmobiles located on it. And did that happen? Yes. What happened? Tell me, tell me what happened. I was the passenger in my truck with my co-defendant and we backed up to a trailer and hooked onto it and the person happened to be home, owned them and we drove off with them and they followed us, caught us red handed. Okay. How did you find this trailer with the snowmobiles? Did you know the people or were you just driving by? Just driving by. What were you going to do with them? Um, probably sell them. Okay. Uh, all right. And uh, do you agree that the value of the four, mo uh, the four snowmobiles and the trailer is over a thousand, but is somewhere less than $20,000? Yes. Now, were the, were the snowmobiles recovered? Yes. Was the trailer recovered? Yes. Obviously, that's a silly question. If you got the snowmobiles, you got the trailer. Um, was there any damage done to them? Um, I'm pretty sure there was. The trailer flipped off the back of the truck into the ditch. Okay. As you were trying to flee the people that were chasing you, you lost control and the trailer flipped over and the snowmobiles got damaged. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Our counsel satisfied that a factual basis has been established by the defendant's statement of fact. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Are you the counsel aware of any other promises, threats, or inducements? I am not. No, Your Honor. 
And has the court complied with the court rule? Court has. I find the plea made is accurate, understanding, voluntary, and there's a factual basis. Therefore, I accept the plea. Uh, we'll set this for sentencing on July 2nd. And you need to get that paperwork filled out and turned in so they can update your pre-sentence report. In terms of bond, uh, it indicates that you were previously convicted of a possession of methamphetamine just last year, just last June here uh, in the 45th Circuit Court. And it also in the uh, file indicates that you have a pending possession of meth charge set for sentencing April 12th. Where's that at? Um, no, the sentencing, was, that was my uh, plea I, when I took my plea for Cass. The, my sentencing is June 4th. Okay, so you pled in Cass and now your sentencing is set for June 4th there. And, yes, I'm on. Uh, go ahead. I'm currently, I'm currently on a PR bond from there. Okay, all right. All right, so uh, it indicates, and you are completely... Uh, completely honest here that and it does reflect in the file that you uh, it says in the affidavit uh, troopers were dispatched to the listed venue for larceny in progress while en route troopers were informed the vehicle fled dispatch advised the complainant was following the vehicle heading north on Clinger Lake Road the vehicle broke down on Banker Road near Lutz uh, both suspects then fled on foot the mail was detained and brought back to the Banker Road by White Pigeon officers and troopers were able to locate the female in a field right off Banker Street. Both suspects were arrested and lodged at the St. Joseph County Jail for larceny. So uh, I'm going to cancel bond at this time, make sure we have you here for sentencing on July 2nd, and then you can take care of your June case uh, by video or, or show up uh, and get a writ from Cass and then get this all done so that you're not compounding anything further by getting any new charges. All right, Ms. Jar Jarvis, get that uh, document filled out and turned in, and we'll see you back.